Over the last 10 years we held many workshops and trained a lot of people, no matter if in group or personal training sessions. During this time we've learned that there are some mistakes that are made over and over again, especially when it comes to beginners. Of course this is no surprise because beginners have no experience, so how should they know if something is good or bad, effective or not? One of the biggest problems is the lack of body awareness, so even if they know what an exercise should look like, they have problems doing it right. So if you are a beginner yourself, don't just watch this video, but also film yourself when doing these exercises. In this way you can correct your execution right on the spot. If you want to avoid these and also other mistakes right from the beginning, make sure to head over to kellymove.com and join our online workout courses for beginners. Alright, let's start with the first exercise which is push-ups. And since this is a beginner video, we focus on incline push-ups. Push-ups in general are done wrong all the time and we don't want to bore you with the most common mistakes that you can find in any other push-up video. However, a very often overlooked key point is the correct feet distance when it comes to incline push-ups. If you place them too far away, you end up like this. And if you place your feet too close, you end up like this. To do it correctly, aim for the right distance so that you touch the object that you are doing push-ups on right below the sternum. Also make sure to not just move up and down, but shift your weight a bit forward. It is very similar to the correct bar movement path when benching, but instead of the bar, you are shifting your body. The second exercise is the crunch, and here it's quite simple. Don't move with too much momentum and take care of persistent muscle tension in all parts of your abdominals. Look, the crunch itself doesn't offer a wide range of motion, so you will hit your abs effectively by just releasing your shoulder blades off the ground. Another common crunch mistake is the head position. Don't lead the movement with your head, instead tuck your chin and keep your neck close to a neutral position. Also make sure to not pull your head with your hands. Instead place them anywhere but behind your head. The third exercise is the glute bridge. Here most people try to lift their butt as high as possible and this often results in an arched lower back. The more you arch, the more tension you take away from the glutes and that's the opposite of what you want to do with this exercise. So always make sure to keep that lower back as neutral as possible and aim for proper glute tension. The fourth exercise is the plank and here it's about your shoulder blades. Yeah, the plank is an abdominal focused exercise and you'll probably already know that you shouldn't arch your back. What most people don't know is that the proper shoulder blade alignment is also very important. So don't let gravity do its work and make sure you press yourself up as much as possible. Don't get confused if this results in a rounded thoracic spine. This won't ruin your posture and actually has some major benefits like increased abdominal tension and serratus anterior work. The fifth exercise is the row and this mistake is done at any form of this exercise no matter if you use weights or your body weight. Too many people just pull from their arms instead of their back. To make it right, move your hands to your ribcage, your elbows all the way back and bring your shoulder blades together as much as possible. With this execution you make sure that you're actually working your back instead of letting the arms do most of the work. The sixth exercise is the burpee and here it's a combination of mistakes. Often people just let themselves fall down with nearly no body tension. Then they move themselves up again with no core tension at all. This is also known as warm burpees and you can clearly see why. The other common burpee mistake is to switch to a bad squat position before doing the jump. Now let's correct these mistakes. First, always maintain body tension while moving into and out of the push-up position. 
Second, when you do the transfer to the squat, try to keep your heels on the ground. If you can't hold a deep squat position without raising your heels, try to transfer to a higher squat position. Of course you can do the burpee with a more narrow or a wider foot placement. For beginners we suggest the wider one because it requires less mobility and balance. The seventh mistake is not about the execution itself, but the misconception that you need running to lose fat, increase your endurance and improve your health in general. If you don't like running or if you get knee or ankle pain, no matter how well you prepare yourself, maybe it's better to do something different. You can achieve similar results with low impact exercises like swimming, cycling or by doing your cardio on a cross trainer. Of course running is not bad. It has positive effects on your cardiovascular system, it can help stabilize your posture, it can strengthen your legs to some degree and a lot of people really like the good feeling coming from the release of endorphins. But you don't have to force yourself to run if there are similar activities that fit you better and that you enjoy much more. Alright guys, if you like these tips, make sure to head over to kellymove.com and check our step-by-step -step calisthenics workout programs. Every program comes with high quality videos that show you all the common mistakes in detail and how you can avoid them. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe and activate the notification. My name is Alex and I see you in the next video.